In today's video, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver falling back into the $21 an ounce range. We're going to be talking about the stock market continuing to fall. We're going to be talking about the debt ceiling deadline being tomorrow. And we're going to be talking about what mistake California is trying to make this time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver falling back into the $21 an ounce range, premium excluded, obviously. But we also have to talk about California attempting to crack down on those with green energy. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. We've got the limited edition Christmas line, helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, link in the description. And of course, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble. The link will be in the description. If you refer three friends before the end of the month, they're going to give you a spin on the Weeble wheel where you're guaranteed at least one share of Apple and you could possibly win all the way up to 10. And for every friend that you refer, you also get six free bonus stocks. So for that whole spin wheel thing, you'll get 18 free stocks and a spin on the wheel. We will link in the description. So today is Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. The spot price of silver, as I'm filming the video, is $21.70, a big red day for silver, down a measly 61 cents, but that's down 2.73%. The spot price of gold, as I'm filming the video, is $17.69.40. It's down $17.50, or down 0.98%. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 80 to 81 to one range. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, we have quite a bit to talk about. And in this video, we're going to be talking quite a bit about silver and gold. But before we can even really get into the money, I think we have to first talk about the currency. First things first, I wanted to acknowledge that the debt ceiling deadline is tomorrow. It's the 14th as I'm recording the video. The deadline is December 15th. So we are currently 24 hours away from that whole circus, for lack of <laughs> better word. Circus is what I'll call it, because that's exactly what it is. And whether we raise the debt ceiling or whether we don't, in my opinion... I think it could be pretty disastrous either way, and I don't want to be a fear monger or any way, shape, or form, but if you want to know some of the details of what could happen if we raise the debt ceiling, and obviously what could happen if we don't raise the debt ceiling, go and watch the video that I posted, I believe, on Thursday. I went into full detail. I tried to break down as much as possible, and there's a lot of information crammed into that video, so if you want to go check that out, you're more than welcome to do so. That's all I wanted to say regarding the debt ceiling, but I also wanted to acknowledge the fact that in yesterday's video, I talked about how the debt ceiling was obviously at the time about 48 hours away. Now we're down to 24, 48 hours away yesterday, and I believed that the stock market was reacting to that. And I said in yesterday's video that I think everything will continue to react to that leading up to it. Well, guess what we're seeing today? We're seeing the same thing. We're seeing even more red. As I'm filming the video, the S&P 500 is down 1.01%. The Dow Jones is down 0.39%. The NASDAQ is down 1.56%. We're seeing red across the board. We're seeing almost everything in the red. I mean, even precious metals are in the red today. Like I said before, silver's down, gold is down, the entire stock market is down. One stock in particular that I've been paying very close attention to these last couple of weeks especially has been Apple, and it seems to be doing absolutely nothing but moving up green every single day. Well, guess what? Even Apple is in the red today. 
It's down to $173.24 per share as I'm filming the video, that is. And in yesterday's video, I mentioned that Apple hit 180 bucks, which just for reference is over a 20% boost just in the last month, which is mind boggling to me, but Apple is doing incredible things. So friendly reminder, go and get your free share of Apple. The Weeble link will be in the description. Just make an account, fund your account, and simply tell three friends about it. That's all you gotta do. And for every friend that you refer, you'll get six bonus shares up until December 23rd. Don't miss out on an opportunity. And if you're into the digital currencies, for every friend that you refer that goes and enables crypto trading on Weeble, they're going to give you $5 worth of a crypto of your choice between Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, Sheeb, or Cardano for this month and this month only. Weeble link in the description. But moving away from all that, we're going to talk quite a bit about silver in just a second, but I wanted to quickly mention something pretty weird going on. I've been noticing in the comments a lot lately that People seem to be confused as to how silver is used in the world or just how useful it really is. I would run through all of the different uses, but I don't even know all of them because there are over 10,000 different ways silver is used. Silver has 10,000 different jobs in the world, which just right off the bat is incredible to know. Because even if one particular industry start, starts to sink or, or this starts to fall off or this gets replaced by something else, it still has over 10,000 different ways. Silver is a very diversified metal, if you ask me. But it's used in medicine, photography, cars, batteries, electronics, the list goes on. But of course, it's also used in solar panels. And speaking of solar panels, here's the weird thing that I wanted to talk about. As it turns out, California seems like it's now trying to punish people with solar panels. Quick backstory, California is pretty obviously the most blue state in the country, which means they're one of, one of the biggest pushers of going green, mainly because they are the state with the highest risk of power outages because their power grid is always on the brink of collapsing. That's why they're so aggressively pushing for green energy. So much so that as of January 2020, it's now a requirement for every single new home built in the state to be set up with a solar system. And as for the older homes that don't have a solar system, you're incentivized to go solar because it'll more than likely lower your electric bill. Makes sense. Kind of a win-win for everyone. But this week, I found out that California is now cracking down on homes with solar panels by attempting to include an $8 per kilowatt per month fee. You might think $8 isn't too big of a deal. But according to Southern Energy's website, the average size solar system is just under 8 kilowatts. So $8 per kilowatt on an 8 kilowatt system, $64 a month. That's $768 a year, every year, just for having solar panels. Again, this is what California is attempting to do. This isn't official. This hasn't been made official. And it makes absolutely no sense. And no one seems to be on board with this. So I highly doubt it'll ever come to fruition. But I thought it was worth mentioning. And I know I don't have all that much room to talk, being that I live in New Jersey, but California is nauseating to even think about. And I apologize if you live there. This isn't about you. This is about your politicians. This is basically a solar tax. Pushing you into going green and then charging you money when you do? Is that or is that not entrapment? I don't understand. And it's really no wonder that California has the problems that they do. Fun fact, you want to know a shortage that California is seeing right now? And I swear this is not a joke. A shortage of U-Hauls. And the reason for that is because all of the U-Hauls in California are ending up in other states. They're only going one way. Out. People are moving out in crowds and very few people are moving in. That's not a joke. 
and it's also not a surprise. California, get it together or break off from the rest of us because you're weighing us down. We would be just fine with 49 states. Sorry, California residents. Again, it's not directed at you. It's directed at the leadership. And again, New Jersey isn't much better. So that's why I'm planning on moving within the next couple of years. The Southeast is sounding better and better. But anyway, though, I'll cut myself off at that point because I don't want this to accidentally encourage some political thing. I don't care what your political views are or how you vote, but I'll tell you what I do care about. Silver and gold. So let's talk about that. Like I mentioned earlier, precious metals are used in so many different ways. And if you ask me, that's probably the best thing about precious metals. I like how all over the place they are. I like how useful they are. I like how many different people and companies and industries and sectors rely on the precious metals so heavily. Now, right off the bat, there are some uses that are probably crystal clear, such as jewelry and silverware. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, medicine, battery, photography, cars, electronics, all of these different miscellaneous things that you wouldn't even ordinarily think about if you're not too heavily involved in the precious metal world. That's what I love about the precious metals. And it's the fact that they have real value, intrinsic value. Yes, they're nice to look at. What do we have on screen right here? We have a couple of queen's beasts up there at the top. We have some miscellaneous coins, type one eagle, type two eagle, kangaroo, maple leaf, Britannia, creatures of the north, a couple little one ounce bars, 10 ounce bars, a little bit of 90% silver over here and an Aztec calendar round. But guess what? Even though they're nice to look at, they're worth something. And they're not worth something because I'm told that they're worth something, kind of like, I don't know, a $20 bill. These are actually used. They're actually of importance. They're actually of significance. They're needed in the world. Gold as well, by the way. Gold is a fantastic conductor of both heat and electricity. The list goes on. Silver happens to be the most reflective metal that exists. They're useful in so many different ways. And that's what I love about the silver and the gold. If you take the dollar bill away, these are still important. Th this right here, everything you see on screen right here, if you take the dollar away, these things do not vanish. There are a lot of other things out there that people are buying into or investing in that are backed by absolutely nothing but other people buying in. See, silver and gold, if people stopped stacking it, like people like us, regular average Joes, just people using the silver and gold as a method of wealth preservation, if a good portion of us stopped, well, guess what? There are still the 10,000 plus different ways that silver is used in all of these different industries. See, that's why I prefer money over currency. Now, there are people out there who will send me messages or, or they'll comment on my videos and be like, hey, you should, you, why don't you diversify with this type of currency? And I'll say, oh, because that's currency. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for currency. I'm looking for money. I'm looking for an asset that has intrinsic value, something that's worth something with or without the dollar. See, there are a lot of other things out there where the whole sole reason people are involved is because the dollar bill value attached to said asset is going up. But if you take the dollar bill out of the equation, it serves no purpose and there's no reason to be interested in it anymore. There are some things out there that people are buying into exclusively because they're trying to get rich off of it. Not because it's something of use. It's something of value. That's why I like Real estate as well, by the way. Now, just for transparency, I own no real estate. I do not own homes. I do not own land. I would love to. Unfortunately, I don't have the currency to do it just yet, but hopefully I'll be able to one day. But that's one thing that I like about real estate. 
It's important. It's useful. It has intrinsic value, and it's arguably the greatest form of wealth preservation. It just takes a little bit more to get in than it does to get a little bit of silver or gold. But a house, for example, people need walls surrounding them. People need a roof over their head. People need shelter. People need housing. That's something that will never change. Real intrinsic value. Now, if you don't want to own a house, you could buy a plot of land. What can you do with that? Well, for one, you can lease it for farming purposes. Agriculture, boom, right there. Intrinsic value. Food can be grown. It could be a farm. It could be a ranch. So many different things can be done. It could even be a solar farm, since we talked about solar today. There are so many different things you can do with a plot of land, so many different things you can do with a house or a rental property or this or that or the other thing. These are real assets with real intrinsic value backed by something that is real. That's what I love about the silver and the gold. That's what I love about the real estate. A lot of people also see stocks as an excellent way of storing value as well. Beyond the dollar bill, there's still something there with intrinsic value. A lot of the different companies you can invest in if you choose to go the individual stock road or if you want to go with index funds or whatever the case may be. Beyond the dollar bill, the products and services these companies provide the problems that they solve go so far and above the dollar bill. You take the dollar bill away, they're still changing the world. So people see them as a store of value as well. And quite honestly, that's exactly what they are. So regardless of where you want to store your dollar bills or how, how much you want to diversify, or it could be done with business ownership as well. Just like how you can invest in one of these massive companies that have products and services and, and ways that they're changing the world. You could be doing the same thing on a very, very, very small scale. It might be a small business. You might not be a big, massive company. But once again, it's another way of storing wealth. It's another way of having intrinsic value beyond the dollar bill. Because guess what? If the dollar bill were to go away, let's just say the U.S. dollar were to become obsolete and they switched it to something else. Guess what? Regardless of what currency you go with, what you have to offer or what you own is still worth something and still has intrinsic value. That's why we can take our silver and gold and we can take it to a different country if we wanted to. We can sell products and services to people overseas. We can do this. We can do that. Whether it's the business, the stocks, the real estate, the precious metals, constitutionally recognizes money, biblically recognizes money, internationally recognized as money. That's the silver and gold. That's one of the reasons I love silver and gold so much. It's money no matter where you go, and it has real intrinsic value, and it's backed by 10,000 different jobs. You see, I almost see silver as a very diversified investor because it doesn't just rely on one specific thing or one specific sector or one specific industry or one specific job. Silver has its feet in all different types of water. Silver is everywhere. Silver has established a presence all over the place. Gold too, but I mainly talk about silver. The precious metals are needed. They're not wanted. They're needed. They're required. Which is why I have so much confidence in the silver and the gold for the long term. Years, decades down the road, regardless of what happens, regardless of the economic hardships that we have to face or the financial uncertainty or whatever the case may be. I have confidence in the silver and gold. Now, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. And nothing on this channel has ever been financial advice. You got to do your own research on that. But I've been doing my own research for the last just about four years now. 
And the more I look into it, the more research that I do, and the more silver and gold that I stack, the more confident I become in my decision. See, every troy ounce of silver that I add to the stack, it's almost like a brick that I'm adding to the house that I'm building. That's kind of how I see it. I'm over here building an empire, and the silver and the gold, that's, that's one piece of the puzzle. But every coin, every round, every bar that I add to the stack, it could even be a little 1 14th of a troy ounce silver dime for all I care. Every little speck of silver or gold that I add to the stack adds to the confidence that I have in the silver and the gold for the long term. Again, this is just what I'm doing, but I'm very curious. If you can head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. In fact, if you can leave me two separate comments, the first one being your response to California proposing a fee for those with solar panels, which the way I interpreted it, it's almost like a solar tax. You are encouraging people or pushing people into going green and then charging them money when they do. In comment number one, what's your response to that? Do you think it's something that'll come to fruition? Or do you think it's something that's going to just fall on its face and no one's really going to have it? And then, of course, in a secondary comment, what are your thoughts on the silver and the gold? With the spot price of silver creeping down into the $21 an ounce range, do you think we can see 20 anytime in the near future? Maybe before the end of the year. Only have about, what, two and a half weeks left of the year? Which, by the way, is crazy to think about. But if you can leave a secondary comment letting me know your thoughts on the spot price and your thoughts on all of the different types of ways that they're used in terms of precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And, of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial-free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs in a ton of different designs. But until Christmas, we have the limited edition DYDSS Christmas line, helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It's for a good cause. It's helping children with cancer. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And of course, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. If you refer three friends before the end of the month, number one, you're going to get six free random stocks per friend that you referred. But if you refer three, you get a spin on the Weeble wheel where you're guaranteed at least one share of Apple potentially two, three, five, seven, or even 10 free shares of Apple, each worth over $170 right now. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, if you can leave me two comments, the first one being your response to California's new idea of what I consider to be somewhat of a solar tax do you think that's something that's going to actually happen? Is that something that's going to come to fruition? Or is that something that's just going to fall on its face? And then, of course, in comment two, what are your thoughts on all of the different ways silver is used? Like I said, it has 10,000 different jobs. Medicine, photography, cars, electronics, batteries, solar panels, obviously. What are your thoughts on all of the different ways 
silver is used. And gold as well, by the way. Gold is also a very, very incredibly important metal too. And of course, your thoughts on the spot price being in the red today. Silver back in the $21 an ounce range. Do you think we can see spot price go into the 20s? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.